Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Out on another antiquing in the Midwest, heading to uh, Two Sisters Antique Mall in Lake Odessa, Michigan. Uh, yeah, we haven't been to this one in a long time. I've, it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm excited to go in and take a walk through. Uh, probably the smallest out of the three antique stores in Michigan, or in, in Lake Odessa, sorry. Um, but this is actually a good one too. I've bought stuff here before, but it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm excited to get in. But yeah, let's take a look inside. Uh, it's a freezing day outside, probably 20 degrees now. It was freezing this morning, but not too bad now i can actually take my hat off and not you know get hypothermia out here so so yeah like i said um it's gonna be a nice store i think it's all one floor so i don't think it's gonna be a super long video um but yeah at least to show you guys some stuff we used our antique shops in michigan booklet to get here uh if you guys are in michigan definitely want to look at that to get your uh, antique shop fix um but yeah let's go inside take a look get a little tour get you a little taste and make sure you guys get out here to lake adessa man three great antique shops so far or two great this is a third one good food places you can definitely make a trip out of this trip uh to lake adessa so uh definitely to put it on your uh to, to do list to get out and do some antiquing so let's get inside show you what's there and maybe we buy some today let's see Pretty cool. A lot of glass right off the bat, a lot of depression glass. Very cool. Color coordinated and displayed really well. like it a lot. Like I said, if you see some stuff, feel free to ask. Guys. You never know. They might ship them. Mm, glass pottery looks like the price are pretty much pretty good price actually just nothing super special like you guys know me I always look for kind of unique items and nothing really unique I see yet oh. Lazy Bones Man and Horse. Where's the man? $50. None for $50. No way. Interesting. Oh, these are. Is it Pyrex? Is it? It is Pyrex. It's a. It's a different kind of design. Must be a newer design. Ooh, look, the old TV. I've been looking for an old TV. I wonder if it works. Mm, 45 bucks. Doesn't say it works though. So don't want to take that chance. And guarantee that it's heavy as all heck. And that's definitely a negative. But that's what they were. They were always heavy. I remember Amber had this one. We had a haul upstairs once and it was honestly the, the worst thing I've ever hauled in my life. It's a 35-inch old-school TV, and man, it was 
I had to have been like 250 pounds, maybe like two, 300 pounds of fat. <laughs> at least that's what it felt like. <laughs> that thing was, that thing was terrible, terrible to haul. grabbing stuff from people. It's always ideal. We don't have to carry stuff around. I guess we find these hard to shop. I like all those bags of toys. But if you're into toys, I guess you're worth going through all the bags, I guess. But that's just not something I'll do. plates as much they are sixteen dollars yep that's not gonna happen could well be worth it but just uh personally can't pay that much for them 40 percent off gear i'm sure members have seen those but i'm gonna give her a call once i get done recording my walkthrough Let's see if that's something she might be interested in. So that way you guys don't get to hear me talk about the phone because I'm sure she's busy. She's working at the store today. side so let's run over to the other side real quick see if we can see anything over there so far haven't found nothing but all it takes is one booth to change it all some uh, bowl molds from here back when they were doing Christmas. And there's a little stuff in here. Everybody's doing half off comics. Man, crazy. But might go through those before we go. I like the pig. Okay, we're going to play the game, guys. We know the game. I got the pig. The pig is less than $15 we buy it. Less than $20 we buy it. Less than $20 we buy it. Okay, here we go. All right, guy. What do you guys think? Less than $20? I don't think so, but we'll see. Less than $20, we're buying it. Nope, not today. 85 bucks. Not the ticket, but that's it. It's the fun of the game, you never know. Bunch of old view masters, that's pretty cool.
bunch of old toys in here. A little black Americana. We've got little collecting videos on those. I'll order a pair for 60, 20, something like that. More than I pay for them. But Black Americana always has a good, good collecting market. We'll see how long that collecting market stays. I hope it stays forever so it preserves all the the history. Because of those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. So always good to make sure you know your history. We've got some sports cards here. We've actually been selling sports cards at an online auction for pretty good prices lately. 15. My guess is not going to be what I'm thinking. Yeah, pretty much right what I was be at. Postcards. All right, so we are done walking through Two Sisters Antique Mall. We didn't get anything. Um, let's go through the ratings real quick. Shopability, I thought was great. Um, other than a couple booths, a couple booths were a little packed, stuff tacked on top of stuff. You had to really, you know, kind of, you know, dig through stuff to get to it. So, um, so yeah, most of the time, though, shopability was fine. You could walk through a lot of space to walk through, you know, um, variety, very good variety. You got the vintage, mid century antique for an antique store very good variety uh price wise very good prices i thought everything was very affordable um i don't even think i would say too many things were on the high end i'd say most of it was probably below retail so that's actually a very good place you'd be able to shop and actually buy some stuff at probably good for resellers depending on what you're looking for um but yeah um other than that um the quality of product probably a little lesser than the other couple places I've been to, but still really good stuff. I mean, it was I mean quality wise, even still quality wasn't that bad. I mean, just compared to other places, I guess. But um, really good place. Like I said, I was actually really impressed. Smaller place, wasn't a long video, but still fun. Fun place to go to. Uh, definitely uh, one of the three in Laco that I would definitely stop by. I mean, if you're in town, why wouldn't you stop by? And you'll you'll find some good deals here. I thought uh, there was a lot of really good priced items. Discounts were great. Um, but yeah, so let's throw it on the rankings. Um, if we kept it to the top three, which we're going to do a top three, and that's where we're going to leave it at, I don't think it makes it into the top three. I think we still have the Laco Antique Mall, um, Bonanza Antiques, and Boardroom Antiques as the top three. Um, but these guys would be right close behind. I like them better than like Amazing Grace, um, than Smurfs. I like them better than Smurfs. So I guess if I had to put them into a place, it'd probably be fourth um right now ahead of the other places uh so you know it's other places it's not against the shop it's just that other shops were good too so uh yeah so if you're coming to laco two sisters antique mall definitely somewhere you want to stop to i think you're gonna be able to find some good deals there um you know and this wraps up my time in lake odessa uh all three great shops you're not going to go wrong coming out to lake odessa and visiting these three shops uh laco antique mall huge place uh good items great quality uh bonanza really good place uh, great quality, good prices, two sisters, great place, great prices. Like I said, guys, I really think Lake Odessa is going to be a great place for you guys to come out and do some antiquing. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys want to like, subscribe, comment, share all that great stuff, do it down below. Let me know what you thought about uh, these shops out in Lake Odessa. And if you get some time and you want to come shop our shop out in Nashville, feel free and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.